All right, you guys, back with another Leonardo AI video. So I recently saw a comment of a subscriber who was asking how to expand real life photos in the canvas editor. As you know, we previously expanded all the AI generated images in the canvas editor. I showed you two ways. One is to write a simple prompt like expand similar. And the second one is to copy the whole prompt of the image and paste it into the prompt section. So the doubt was that how to expand the image without actually putting in the whole prompt in the canvas editor. So in this video, I'm going to pick a bunch of images from the internet that were clicked using a camera, real life images, and we are going to try to expand those images in the canvas editor. Right here, I've opened the canvas editor and I'm going to go to upload image from a computer. And I'm going to select this image as I just downloaded this image from Google to use it in the canvas editor. So double click and then I'm going to decrease the size of this image because it is way bigger than the bounding box. So just fit it in the bounding box in such a way that it covers maybe two times. The bounding box is able to generate two generations because it will be more precise. And then increase the size of the canvas. Place the bounding box in such a way that we have a good reference of the original image. And then I have written the prompt similar sky and mountain. So whatever features you are seeing in the image, just add similar in front and then add those objects or nature or whatever is there in the image. And then let's see what kind of an output do we get. And as you can see, the generation came out pretty good. I wasn't expecting this personally and I think many of you are not able to generate such an outcome using this small similar prompt. I think uh, you need to try two or three times um, to get this kind of a result. So I'm going to choose this one, click on accept and then I'll do the same thing in this section. And it is not looking like we have expanded the image. It looks like an image that was clicked using a camera, not an AI generated because it is actually clicked by camera. So I want to generate some more. I want to expand this image further. So I'm going to decrease the size of the canvas and place the image in such a way that we can do the required. Shift the whole canvas and then place the bounding box on this section and the prompt will remain same just click on generate and as you can see you can further generate as much as you want and as you can see the image looks really nice it is not looking like the image was expanded or something now let's go on and choose another image so same thing going from a computer and I have downloaded this image so I'm going to select it and decrease the size of the whole canvas to decrease the size of the image and then increase the size of the canvas and then place the bounding box on top and then I wrote similar interior and then let's see what kind of an output do we get and as you can see this is the first result let's check out all the results this is the second one, third, and these all look pretty nice. I don't know why some of you are not getting nice results with Leonardo AI's canvas editor. If you're not getting these kind of results using any image and small prompts, I don't even have to paste the bigger prompt in some of my AI generated images. So just go to guidance scale. And if we increase the guidance scale, let's see what kind of an image do we get then. So I'll increase from seven to nine and then click on cancel and then generate again. And as you can see, this is the first result. And these are all the results when we increase the guidance scale. I'll go with this one for now, except do the same thing right here. Now let's expand the other side. So I'm going to shift this, decrease the size of the canvas, select, bring the bounding box on this side and then click on generate and as you can see we have got a pretty decent result look at this the precise uh, details in the image just look at this image and this one 
I like this image. Uh, this is the best looking. I'm going to click on accept and complete the image. So now we know that by adding similar in any image, you can expand it, whether it is AI generated or it is clicked using a camera. So now we are going to grab our bounding box and try to expand this part of the image. So first let's expand this part of the image as it will be easier to expand left and right from there. Just look at this uh, result. It is completely mind blowing. It is exactly what I wanted actually and exactly what an interior looks like. So I'm really happy with this one. I'm going to click on accept and then going to do the same thing on both the sides. Accept on this side as well. And these are all the results that we got. I'm going to go with this one. Actually this one looks better because the lines in this image are straight but still I like this one so I'm going to click on accept. Now there are few errors, uh, minor, very minor errors in the image like all these lines, look at all these lines, they are not completely straight but that is normal and we can fix it using the erase tool. You already know how to use the erase tool so I'm not going to do that right now. So this is the next image that I have selected and I wrote an interior of a ship deck. It looks like an old ship and now I've just uh, written similar interior and clicked on the snap and placed it in such a way that we have a good reference of the image and I'm going to actually place the whole image in the bounding box. And now let's uh, click on generate and as you can see it does a pretty nice job generating and expanding different types of images, even an image with that much of detail. These are all the options we have. Uh, personally, I'm liking this one much uh, better than the others. Not uh, Let's try decreasing the guidance scale, placing the box a bit inside so that it has more reference and then I'm going to click on generate. And after playing around with the guidance scale and uh, generating the same prompt and image one or two times, I got these images. I think this one is pretty good. So I'm going to go with this one, click on accept and then decrease the size and place the bounding box in order to expand the left part of the image. And this is the result. Let's check out all the three generations. The first one is accurate. The rest two are a bit weird. They have a bit of a separation. I think most of you are talking about this trouble. This happens once a while, but for me, it's not happening that much. I think you're using different words. Maybe just try using similar. And if you don't get the result, even after using similar, you can add some keywords like wooden flow, wooden roof, ropes etc and whatever you see in the image click on accept sometimes because of the perspective the image is not generated that well that's why i kept this much reference and just left one third of the bounding box outside the image and this was the first result that i got of the roof that i expanded these are the other results that i'm not liking that much so i'm going to go with this one and do the same thing in the whole image and this is the result that I have got. I'm going to accept this because the other two generations were not that accurate. I'm going to go with this one right here. And this can be corrected later on just by erasing using the erase tool. I'm going to click on accept and then do the same thing in the last part of the image. This text that is there in the image is troubling me a bit. So I'm going to immediately correct this by choosing the erase tool and erasing this part of the image out of the image. And then let's click on generate. I'm having some issue with this part of the image as well. So I'm just going to erase it. But before that, let's click on accept and then drag the bounding box right here. And now we are going to erase this part.
and finally we can go right here and complete the final image and this is the final image I'm uh, happy with the image for now I'm going to click on accept and download this final image if you have any doubt regarding anything in leonardo.ai or any other software that you want me to cover you can write a comment in the comment section I will definitely read the comment and make a video regarding that topic. This was it for the video. If you liked the video and found the video informative, then subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video.